Underworld, it was uh, surreal, but still very close to the real world. I exaggerate things, but the base subject is, is very close to reality. I wanted this to be like uh, a world, but uh, magical in a way. Normally I did different kind of installations, some were with uh, cupboards and uh, settings with tables and furniture. This time I wanted something to be more group, so I tried to make like a stronger theme. Simple family circuses you see in the countryside where the whole family works and they all, the same people do uh, all the different uh, tricks. They can appear as a clown or as an acrobat and in the next, uh, next place they do something with animals. I uh, wanted this uh, very simple feeling of people that are really trying to do something difficult and sometimes it becomes uh, fantastic and magical and then they have this uh, different psychological characters that comes out through them. I did a lot of uh, work about adolescence, the strange thing when you had to change, the, the choices you made during that age and who you became and why, you know, and what you can do with that after and how you look at it. So I looked for inspiration in different magazines and so, and I found this very strange child. So I did like collages with this image from this, uh, and here he is. I liked his uh, very strange uh, hair. He, he had his hair in this uh, magazine, so I just took it straight away. When you look at them, they also contain other things might be like you see a beautiful boy with a golden ball but then when you look more it's more about him than that they have uh, different layers in them that's the magician's daughter that uh, i also got the inspiration from uh, a japanese photographical mag magazine it stuck to me somehow. So I made several drawings with this person that has a mask as a second face. It's not really a mask, it's like a part of her face, but underneath her whole person comes out, you know? So it's like a she maybe a shield or, or just some kind of calmness, you know, on the surface. What is my biggest joy in my work is uh, finding the ideas, you know, because you can find them anywhere. It's a lot about communication and mirroring, because I want this contact, I want anyone to come in and meet them, not only like people related to art or anything, I want them really to be communicative in a broader way.